Welcome, once again. The sun is so bright, I'm actually dying. It's supposed to be like winter here. What is this? Okay, well, so this week's video, this is probably your like, single video, I'm going to be doing the six month favourites. So like a half year favourites. So I have a couple categories that I'm going to do. And the first one is movies. And these are all the movies that I have seen in the cinema with friends and stuff in the past six months. So the first one was Avengers Age, Avengers? Age of Ultron. And out of ten, I would rate this movie uh, eight because I'm not really one for action movies, but but it was a really good movie, so that's why it's an eight. And the second one is The Duff, which I saw twice. And this movie was, it was okay. It wasn't the best, but like, um, yeah, it wasn't the best, but it was pretty good. It was like enjoyable the second time rather than the first. It was a bit inappropriate though, if you have to have a crumb, and I'll give it 7 out of 10. Uh, the third movie is Theory of Everything. Um, it was really good. It was a bit strange though, because there was just like, random things put in, like, they got married, oh no, now there's cheating, what? It was like in the space of 30 seconds, and like, they'd have intercourse, and like, try have a baby, and then like, the next scene, there's a baby. Like, um, I would give that movie a 8 out of 10 as well. The next movie I did not see in the cinemas, because I'm obviously not allowed, but I watched Home, twice is Fifty Shades of Grey. You know, everyone's like, this movie is amazing, watch it, you have to watch it, it's so good. So, I watched it, and I watched it twice actually. The second time was definitely better than the first. Um, it's not something I would recommend though. The next one is Insurgent, and this is probably my favourite one out of all that we went to go see. And we saw this at the drive-in, which was really nice. And I would rate it a 9 out of 10 because the only problem with movies that have a book to go with it is that so much happens in the movie that it's sometimes hard to like take in, like Hunger Games. But it was really enjoyable. Uh, second last one is Into the Woods. And this was really, really good except for the fact that there were like 50 million songs. Even though it's a musical, I know it's a musical, but like, there were so many songs, and also they all like sounded the same, so it's like, wait, is this the end of a song? Oh wait, is it a new song? Oh my god, I don't know. And also, they spent like, a, an hour and a half of the movie, like, just doing the storyline, and then only half an hour doing like, when the big giant comes, and wrecks the town, and I was like, maybe you should share it up a little bit. Uh, out of ten, I would give it an eight. And the last movie is Pitch Perfect 2. Okay, well, the songs in this weren't as good as the first one. And it was kind of just like a repeat of the first one, so it was kind of like not worth it. And it was like predictable, and there was like no storyline in it. So it was, a, it was like, it was easy to follow, but like, it's like, why are you doing this? At 10, I'll give it a 7. And the next category is TV shows. So I have six, six TV shows that I've been watching. The first one is Dance Moms, which Emma and I love so much. And yeah, if you haven't watched it, I would, even if you're a guy. It's friggin' amazing. The second one is Geordie Shaw. Oh my god! This was like the most action-filled se action 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 season I've ever had. Okay. The last, so the third one, halfway is Australia's Next Up Model and hmm, I don't think it's better than the American one but it's really good. It, I, I prefer the American one just because Tai Tai and you know. The next one is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and the Real Housewives of Melbourne. Um, if you know me well you know that I'm obsessed with Real Housewives. I'm obsessed with Housewives and I'll usually try to recreate what they say in my everyday life so been loving Real Housewives so far. The next one is Orange is the New Black. 
Orange is the New Black, and uh, season three just got released, so uh, binge watching coming up. Am I right? And the last TV show that is probably becoming one of my new favourites is Fresh Off the Boat. Fresh Off the Boat. It's uh, I wish it went for longer though because half an hour is not enough. I need more Fresh on the Boat. Fresh Off the Boat. Fresh Off the Boat. The next category is music artists. So. Number one is Diplo and Skrillex, like Diplo and, yeah. You know. Um, they have come out with a new album and it's really good. Some of the songs on there, you're like, ugh, but then there's other songs where you're like, ugh, give me more. So, um, yeah. My favourite song from Diplo and Skrillex is Mind, maybe. So you love to love the next one is the Wombats. If you haven't listened to them, you should because they're really good. Um, oh, well, my, yeah, my favourite song from the Wombats is probably Emoticons. Because that's really nice. And, oh, yeah. Artist is the White Panda, and they're like on YouTube. I don't think they're like an actual artist like in real life, but they're on YouTube. And I discovered them after hearing a remix in a shop, so I was like, "Oh, listen to that!" And it turns out that they're a really good artist on YouTube, and you should go check them out. And my favorite song from them is probably "No Diggity Mashup" kind of thing. I like the way you work it. No diggity, I'm Artist is the weekend. The weekend. Um, I seriously can't get enough of them. Uh, we. My favorite song is. I can't feel my face. So groovy. You need to listen to it. I can feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. But I love it. Oh. We are down to the last two categories. And they are, of course, BT and body and hair. So, to start off with BT, I have some, this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. And this is in 100 Ivory. And I've just been loving this because it's like really light on my skin. And it definitely stays for a long time. It's not full coverage, but it is a fair amount of coverage um so yeah the second is you've probably seen this in a couple of our makeup videos is the australis ac on tour palette and it's the contouring and highlighting kit and it just looks like that and yeah it's just really versatile good for all skin types and yeah been loving that. The next is the Australis 4-in-1 Concealer Correct and this has a purple shade and a skin colour shade and then the top is a green and the natural shade again. So it's good for cancelling out redness and all that jazz. So yeah, it was $10 and I reckon it's worth the price. The next is this Viva La Diva yeah. uh, lipstick by Chi Chi. This is in the shade Hollywood Housewife and I got this half price because Target was having a like shutdown sale kind of thing so everything was half price and it's just a really nice pinky nude shade which is what I have on my lip. So yeah, the next is there are so many beauty gurus that have been raging about this and I'm going to join in with the hype because this is the Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Mascara and I do agree with everyone else that the wand is super duper weird. 
like that. And yeah, I usually wear this when I'm going to school because it just like fills in and it's got like, I don't know, just makes your eyebrows look good. So it's a sculpting brow mascara and yeah. The next is the Cheeky Beauty Blender. Mine is so dirty, but just excuse that. Um, it's wet. So yeah, this is the Beauty Blender. It was five dollars, and I reckon it's like worth the price because it works really well for like under eye concealer. I don't use it for foundation because I don't like the idea of foundation being squeezed into a sponge, not being able to use. But concealer works really well because it's like thicker. Um, yeah been a really good asset to my makeup collection. The next, third last thing, is this e.l.f. brow kit. And this has a gel and a powder in it. And it comes with a little brush, but the brush is useless because, you know, they always are. And it has a mirror. And yeah, it makes my eyebrows look really full and the colour is like spot on. So, yeah. And it's cheap because it's e.l.f. So, yes, I say that so much. Yeah. And the last thing is this NYX Dusk Till Dawn Dream Catches Palette. And I got this in a NYX set. And it's just really good because all the shades are like versatile and there's like some shimmery and some matte. And there's just a nice colour collection that you can choose from, like highlights and crease colours and on the lid stuff and yeah it's just really good to the last category which is body and hair products so the first one is the oh, let me just get it <laughs> the body shop coconut scrub or if you're french it's noir de coco cream exfoliant copper red but yeah I'm joking don't be french it smells like coconut. It looks so like I really want to eat it, but that's gross and weird. But um, I used this before shaving, and it like makes your skin burn, but it's like a good burning feeling. It's like oh yeah. The next is this formula ten point zero point six cooling breakout mask, and I put this on before foundation because just keeps my pimples to a minimum and it you only need to use like the little bit I've had this for probably more than a year now and it's like still got half of it in there and I use this every day so yeah smells really nice and refreshing too the next thing is this Moroccan oil set there's also shampoo conditioner but I've already used that and this is the oil and the hydration cream thing and I use this and this after straightening my hair so yeah I obviously use heat protectant but I got this as a set for Christmas from my grandma yeah the only downside of this downside of this is that it's extremely expensive but if you have that money buy it the next thing is this Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Cleanser and Mask and this is my saviour. I break out like really bad just I think it's to do with like my period and hormones and stuff but I usually break out really bad and if I didn't have this stuff I would it would be so much worse. It really works and to apply this like on my face in the shower I use this brush, which has also helped my acne immensely instead of using my hands, even though you're in the shower and you use your hands and they're like clean, this definitely gets into my pores on my nose. And yeah, you can get like motorized ones of this, but I reckon that this one's better because you can like move it around in places, like because the bristles are nice and soft, and you can use your own pressure so yeah and that's all for my six month favorites yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm sure emma will have her single video by now or soon and yeah be sure to come back next week for another video hopefully
from like makeup. 